Welcome back everybody. This is part six of our Enterprise E-Build and in this video we will finish building the saucer, lighting it, and assembling the model kit, leaving just painting and decaling to be done so after very this. very simple lighting in this kit. We have taken some LED strips, soldered on some leads to it, and used a little bit of shrink wrap to hold it into a circle and just glued it down to the bottom of the saucer. So simple. After that, we took our last clear parts and painted them with a very nice clear right. red. What we're going to do after that is we're going to be light blocking the saucer, um, putting on a heavy coat of gloss black, silver, then gloss white to really help block and diffuse the light. Now, two things I find to be really fun on this build are two different lighting effects. We're going to take our nicely painted clear red parts and we're going to cover the part with the raised detail in black paint. The next fun effect is right before light blocking this saucer I glued a guitar pick to the inside right in the center. So here's our little impulse grill that we've used black paint on. I set down just a little bit of sandpaper, a little bit of wet dry sandpaper. Get it a little bit wet. And we're going to very gently sand those grills. So here are those two pieces after they've been wet sanded just a little bit. Okay, now that we have light blocked the saucer, we're going to just remove this guitar pick. All right, let's take a look at those two effects with the lights turned on. So here's that rear impulse engine. And this spotlight that we've left unlight blocked across the front, that is going to be the spotlight for our registry. So it's shining the light up from underneath, underneath the plastic. And once again, we're getting all of that light uh, just from one small circle of LED strips. All right, I have glued the lower saucer into place. Now it's time just to connect all the electronics. And since we're doing some real simple LED lights here, all I need to do is connect all the negatives to one junction, all the positives to one junction, really just a bundle of the red, a bundle of the black, and solder those together. After that, we're going to heat shrink uh, those together to keep them insulated and safe and just like on the other part of the model um, to protect the model from the heat we're going to lay down some cloths um, before we heat shrink it. There we have some very well insulated, very secure connections um, to connect all of our wiring. Well, I really didn't need much putty at all. Um, really constructing the saucer, just kind of mating the two halves. There are a few spots on the bottom where light came through, so a little bit of putty on there and it was fine. Um, I've put the base coat over the entire model. Um, while I was doing that, since I had to mask off uh, these impulse engines, um, I did the little black part right around them. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the ship now that she is fully constructed. 
and all the electronics are installed. All right, there we are. Get a good look at those impulse engines. There's our warp nacelles. All the lights as we kind of go around here. There's our registry spotlight. And we'll tilt it up. We'll tilt it up there for the deflector dish. All right, here is kind of a lower angle. So, you know, it feels really good to have the model at this stage. Um, kind of all the worrying is done. We've got it built. We've got the lights working. Uh, now I'm going to do a little bit of detail painting. I think on this model, it's really just the thrusters and the phasers. And after that, um, decal the ship up. Uh, but we're getting close to the end. Um, thank you guys very much for following along on the build. Um, the next video should really just be the detail painting and decaling the ship. And then we might do a final wrap up where we might compare it to the version of the ship seen in Star Trek Nemesis. Uh, but once again, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back soon.